good morning and happy Thanksgiving. Even though I know this video is not gonna air on Thanksgiving, nevertheless, happy Thanksgiving. Anyways, uh, what I wanted to talk about real quick is winter's coming if it's not already there where you live. As you may know, I'm in California, Central Valley of California more specifically, and we pretty much don't get a real winter here. It'll get down to freezing, which I was watching the news last night, and they did finally issue the first freeze warning of uh, the winter here. And we're just about into December now, a few days away, and it hasn't gotten that cold. This morning, the coldest it's been since I've been back here, I woke up and it was 34 degrees. So we're just shy of freezing. And uh, I slept in the van last night. Apparently it got down to 34 degrees. And you know what? Didn't affect me in the least. Now I don't have a heater in here. I don't um, lock up all my windows, roll them up tight, turn on the engine, crank the heater up, let it go for a while to fill up and then turn it off and let that settle into the night. You know, frankly, I don't really like heat. I don't like heaters. I don't like hot air blowing on me. Um, I would rather be a little bit cold and sleep in a, this, in a hoodie and sweatpants with a warm blanket, a cover or a sleeping bag, then be hot and have to tear everything off and still be hot and sweaty. And then what do you do? Can't peel your skin off. At least I don't recommend it. So I have this duvet, I don't, duvet? Duvet, I don't know if that's a real word. Yeah, that's a real word. I think the duvet is just a cover. I don't know much about bedding, sorry. Comforter, we'll call it that. I have this comforter here. It's really thick. Um, it, I didn't buy it. It came with the van. It was brand new when I got it. Both the bed and the comforter were here when I got the van. So I don't know what kind of bed it is, but it's the most comfortable I've ever slept on. I don't know what kind of comforter this is but it's probably the most comfortable comforter I've ever had and thank you Mr. Joe Schmo from New Zealand who decked this out and even more importantly I probably should thank his girlfriend because I have a feeling she's behind that Miss Schmo from the Netherlands never never Netherlands Thank you very much. Now, it could be 34 degrees, and under this thing, I don't notice it one bit. In fact, it keeps my body heat in so well that some nights I wake up and I have to take it off because I'm, I'm overheating. So all of that said, you know, do what you want to do. You want a heater, go for it. I don't feel comfortable having like a propane job running through the night or even some of the electric sketch heaters that are super cheap that you can buy that like light up a heating element and glow orange. Imagine that falls over. Your home's gone. Well, I don't want to lose my home. Um, but I just wanted to talk about heating for a minute. I don't have it. Don't use it. Don't plan on getting it. And I don't ever plan on being in a place where I'm going to need it. So that all being said, it's a beautiful morning. The sun has just barely risen. And I'm over at a park just down the street from my parents' house. And I thought I'd show you what a beautiful day it is.
All right, well, I had my little bit of fun flying the drone around, checking out those geese out there. They always collect in this park. I'm going to head back home and start working on Thanksgiving dinner because that's my job and I got to do it. I probably won't film much of it, if any at all, but I'll let you know how it goes. Well, I'm preparing dinner over at my parents' house. And of course, you know, I need some extra butter and this and that. And they needed a few items from Walmart. So I'm like, oh, I'll just head over there, grab everything at one stop shop, right? That's what Walmart's for. And of course, you know, you'd figure everybody's gonna be going there for last minute items, but they're closed. Walmart's closed on Thanksgiving with stacks and stacks of food going to the ceiling. More pumpkin pies than you could feed an entire first world country with, apparently because they're still sitting there and they're not selling them. So who's eating all these pies? What do they do with all these pies when they're done? I'm so confused. I'm, <laughs> I'm losing my mind. Ah! So of course, the grocery store is open, so I'm gonna go there and grab what I need. But I just can't believe it. They're not open on Thanksgiving. All that food gonna go to waste. I hope they donate it somewhere. Maybe they do, I don't know. If you know, let me know. Cause that is insanity. Yeah, so I'm here at Vaughn's now and wouldn't you know it, the entire parking lot is full, packed with people. I bet half of these people are getting pumpkin pies. Hey, Walmart, what are you doing? All right, I'm in my parents' kitchen, working on Thanksgiving stuff. We got all the classics, cranberry, corn pudding, a couple eggs, sugar, cream, canned corn, throw it in a casserole dish, in the oven. Cornbread stuffing. I prefer this to stove top myself and I always use better than bouillon instead of a cube. Just a much richer chickeny flavor. Of course the classic casserole green bean recipe on the back of the French's container. Over across here I got my vegetables already sauteed for the stuffing. Onion, celery, carrot, pepper. Some Yukon Golds, taking a bath, waiting for the flame. Heavy cream butter, gonna go in once that's all done, of course. And over here we got the bird. I'm trying something a little different. Instead of a rack, I got a bunch of rough chopped vegetables and Brussels sprouts, carrots, onions, celery. And uh, underneath the skin of the bird, I have put a ton of thyme and orange juice butter, which I made. In the cavity, I stuffed it with some sliced orange, celery, onion, carrots, peppers, thyme, bunch of stuff in there, just aromatics. I got it preheated. I'm going a little bit low at 325. Uh, 10 pounds on the bird, it should take around two and a half hours. All right. I got it. Grab the turkey real quick. Gonna throw it in the oven here. And as you can see, I put it in a disposable pan because I don't want to clean up afterward and that's on a sheet tray just to make it easier to carry. And we'll set it and forget it. Two and a half hours later, should be good to go. I'm gonna stop halfway in between and check it out, of course. Uh, we got some appetizers waiting in the wings just to tide us over. And of course the pies, two different sizes from two different stores. And of course, Mr. Beta Fish, keeping an eye out, making sure everything's good. Hey, Mr. Beta, what's going on? Okay, and we have the gray. Use his vodka 
<laughs> what are you doing, Buster? Where are you going? Where are you going? There's nothing in my hand. Hi. Hey, Buster, are you ready to go outside or what? Come on, let's go. Oh, ho, ho. Hey, you want to go say hi to the van, Buster? <laughs> Another beautiful morning here. Taking uh, my parents' dog, Buster, the brown dog, for a walk. One of my rare pleasures. Yep, get it out there, Buster, get it out. It's a two-bag morning. Maybe we fed him a little bit too much snacks yesterday. Hey, dogs deserve a Thanksgiving too, don't they? giving bus for a walk, I decided to go undercover back into Walmart to see what's really going on with their pumpkin pies. I have a weird question. Go for it. <laughs> like, so the day before Thanksgiving, you had pumpkin pies stacked up to the ceiling? Yes. And then now they're all done. <laughs> we actually but moved them back on that plane. What do you, what do you, I was just wondering what you, you do with all of them because no one's really buying pumpkin pies after Thanksgiving. If they don't sell, we actually mark them down. Um, so we can see if he's on flight. Oh. So, um, I was just curious because the other day I was like, wow, look at yeah. all those pumpkin pies. And if they don't sell, we donate them. Oh, the you did. Army. That was my second question is, yeah. in the case that they don't sell, uh -huh. they do get donated somewhere. They do, yeah. That's awesome. The Salvation Army. Salvation Army. Yeah. Okay, cool. I was like super curious. I was like, <laughs> they're never going to sell all those pumpkin pies in the next 24 yeah, hours. <laughs> Do you Christmas think it's overstocked stuff. because of the pandemic and stuff? People aren't shopping as much? So not everybody's like, you know, going out. I think a lot of our items were sold because of school. Even though they would have like Oh, because of school? Like that. Yeah, I that makes too. total sense. Like the kids would always have like Christmas party, Thanksgiving party, or things like that. I feel like that kind of like decreased our sales too. Yeah. 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 All right, cool. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm glad to see that Walmart does actually donate all their leftover foods to Good Samaritan. I'd hate to see all those beautiful pies go to waste. Uh, well, it's, I know it's been a lazy few days uh, with Thanksgiving and all. I am hitting the road tomorrow. I'm going to go check out a couple of more day-use parks. Um, probably a couple located along the Kings River. Uh, we'll see what happens. Um, and uh, I hope you had a good Thanksgiving. I know we did. And I definitely know that Buster did. <laughs> All right. Yeah.